Hey guys, so I'm back and since I did my review for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I absolutely love, I decided to do a tutorial since you guys were asking for a tutorial using this palette and I actually used this palette before in a simple look I just didn't put the chocolate bar as the title so you guys may not have realized that it was actually using the Too Faced chocolate bar it was a bold lip but a simple eye and I'll leave the link uh, here so you can check it out as well as leave a link below to that video so you can see a very natural eye with this look. And then now for today's look, I'm doing a simple, I think this is a very simple everyday like day, daytime smoky eye look. And it's using one of my favorite shades which is the Gilded Ganache shade. Ooh, I shouldn't be blinding you with that. But if you want to see this look then stay tuned for the tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. So here's an up close view of the look we're going for. So let's get right into it. So as usual, the first thing I do is apply an eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. And I'm applying that all over my lid up to my brow. And this is going to help prevent the eyeshadows from creasing by sealing in all the oils in my eyelid. Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Concealer in the shade 4.5 and my Anastasia Concealer Brush. And I'm just applying this concealer under my brow to clean up the shape as well as give a highlight. I'm just blending it downwards onto my brow bone. Then I'm going to grab my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and apply some more of that concealer over my lid. And this is going to act as an eyeshadow base. It's going to give our eyeshadow something to stick to and really pop against my skin. Then I'm grabbing Salted Caramel Eyeshadow from the palette, which is just a matte skin tone color and a large fluffy brush, and apply this in my crease area, which is going to act as a transition color in our crease and allow our eyeshadows to blend seamlessly without any harsh edges. Then I'm going to grab a piece of scotch tape and apply it to my outer lid area to give us a nice crisp line and you can use an eyeshadow shield for this or just freehand. Now I'm just going to grab marzipan eyeshadow from the palette on an eyeshadow brush and just apply it on my inner tear duct area. And this is a nice shimmery champagne color with a little bit of peach undertone and I'm just applying that to the inner lid and inner tear duct area and also applying some on the inner lower lash line. Then I just wipe off the excess off the brush and go along the edges of the eyeshadow so it's not a harsh line. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite eyeshadows from the palette. This is Gilded Ganache and it's a dark brown shade with olive and golden sheen to it and I'm applying that with a flat brush that I dampened with a little bit of Fix Plus. You can also use a mixing medium or water for this. And I'm just applying this shadow wet on the outer lid area and blending it inwards to the middle lid. Then as usual, I wipe off the excess off the brush and then go in the edges of the eyeshadows to blend out the harsh line. Then once we have that eyeshadow down, I can go ahead and apply some more of the eyeshadow dry on top to build up the intensity. And again, just go at the edges lightly to blend out the color upwards into the crease. Then I'm grabbing creme brulee eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going on the inner lid area where I didn't apply the first shade and just applying it with an eyeshadow brush and blending it inwards to the middle of the lid. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice stiff crease brush and apply triple fudge eyeshadow from the palette which is just a rich dark brown matte shade and I'm going to deepen up the outer V with this shade. Then I'm just grabbing a blending brush and going again at the edge of that color to blend it upwards into the crease area. And I'm going to tap a little bit of white chocolate eyeshadow under my brow for a highlight. And you want to use very little since this shade is so very light against dark skin. You don't want it to overwhelm the look. Now you can go ahead and remove the tape and you'll have that nice crisp outer crease area. And as you can see, that helped control the blending on the outer crease. Now what you can do once you have that line is tap at the line to kind of soften it a bit so it doesn't look as harsh, but still maintains that kind of crisp outer crease. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going in with that Gilded Ganache eyeshadow again on a flat shader brush and applying it just against my lashes. Then I'm going in with the triple fudge color, that dark brown, apply it just on the outer lower lash line to darken up that and kind of give it a smoky effect. Then just take the same brush and go along the edges of the eyeshadow so it's not as harsh. 
Now I'm going to apply my upper lash line liner, but I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm applying it on the outer lid area first, and then I'm going to flick it upwards into the outer lid color so it looks like I'm smoking it out, but I'm really not. I'm just darkening that lash line and outer lid area. Then I'm going ahead and applying it to the rest of my lash line. Then I'm just going to apply some black eyeliner to my lower waterline area with an eyeliner brush. Then I'm going to apply my mascara. Again, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I'm applying that to my upper lashes to prepare them for my false eyelashes that I'm going to apply. And also apply some to my lower lashes. Then for my lashes, I'm going to apply some of my favorite lashes. These are from Kiss. They're the INVKPE09 lashes. And I'm going to be right back to finish up the lips and the rest of the face. And in case you're curious, the two that I used to apply my lashes are the Sephora eyelash applicators, which has rubberized tips, so they're easy to apply your lashes and they're less dangerous than a pointed tweezer. So here go the eyes completely done. So now let's move on to the rest of the face. So for the lips, I'm going to do something pretty neutral, pretty nude, and you can choose to do any kind of lip with this eye because it is pretty neutral so it can complement any lip look, but I'm going to do something nude, and I'm going to start out by outlining my lips with MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil, and I'm just going to outline the edges so I get like a nice ombre effect when I apply my nude lipstick. Now once I outline my lips, what I'm going to do is just take my finger and blend out the edges so we get a nice gradual fade instead of a harsh line. And this is going to help blend in with the actual nude lipstick once we go ahead and apply it. And for the actual lip color, I'm going to use one of the new Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. And this is in the shade Melted Nude. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and just smack my lips together to easily blend the lip liner and the lip color together. And just go ahead and layer it until you get the desired intensity. So while I love this lipstick and the effect that it gives, like it gives a beautiful nude lip, I must mention that they don't wear the best. Even though they say they're long wear lipsticks, they kind of wear away on your lips a little oddly. I wore the Melted Fuchsia and Melted Violet shades and they both kind of leave a thin film on the inside, the inner parts of your lips so it fades a little bit wonky. It leaves this little film that doesn't look great and that is something that I've noticed with matte lipsticks. Some of them can do that. Really dry and matte lipsticks does that. It leaves this little white creamy film on the inside of your lips. That's not cute at all. So while I love the colors, I wouldn't recommend them for long wear use. They're nice for now, but it's going to wear a little wonky and look a little funky when it wear starts wearing off your lips. First for my contour, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to use the middle shade here, which is Fawn, which is a matte skin tone shade with a slight gray undertone and I'm going to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks with my IT Cosmetics angled brush and just blend it in. Then to apply a bit of color, a bit of tan to my forehead area, I'm going to use Havana from the contour kit and this has a more warm or red undertone. I'm just going to apply that to my temples and blend it in to give my skin a little bit of a bronzed look. And I'm also going to apply the same Havana shade down the bridge of my nose and also on the tip to give it a more sculpted look so I can give it a slimming effect to a pair that I had a nose job. And I'm just going to blend it in with my Inglot 4SS Large Blending Brush from Inglot. Oh, I said Inglot already, right? Yeah. And then for my blush, I'm going to use this Amazonian Clay Blush from Tarte. And it's in the shade Tipsy, which is this peachy, orangey, coral shade. And I'm going to apply that with my Suku Cheek Brush, which is just going to give us a nice flush of color instead of being too intense because this blush applies and blends color so nicely and so lightly over the skin. So just apply that and blend it in. And then for a nice, subtle light highlight, I'm going to use my Luminous Light Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass. I'm going to dust this in my forehead area on the high points of my cheeks and a little bit down the bridge of my nose using my IT Cosmetics Angled Brush. And I'm, this is a nice light brush that's going to apply this product very lightly to give a very, very subtle highlight. 
there you go guys that's the finished look hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I think this look is perfect for prom season I also think it is great for date night I even think it's just great for an everyday look if you want to amp it up a little bit you don't want to wear the everyday just simple neutrals you want to do a simple daytime smoky eye I think this works so great and um I definitely love this palette if you can't tell. So if you like the video, definitely hit thumbs up and subscribe and favorites and all that stuff and share with your friends. And I love reading your great comments and I try to keep up with them as much as possible. I may be a couple of videos behind. But I try to keep up. But I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. If you have any questions, definitely check the description box first. There tends to be a list of everything that I used and any little details that, like my nails. Um, so if you have any questions for that, just check below first before you leave them in the comments. And also in the description box, you'll find links to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages. They're either the fancy face or the fancy face with a D so you can definitely check me out there and keep up with me I, I definitely um, am more active there before I post videos and I definitely post previews of looks too if you're interested in that so join me there and we'll chat and until then I'll talk to you soon bye